Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, we're gonna talk about top 15 CMD commands that you must know. So, let's start by first one first. Open CMD, and you will see this this kind of black window, and this is called CMD console. The first command we're gonna talk about is echo command E C H O. This command is very easy to understand that it only requires to show the text on the console for example if I want to print my name on the console window so I will write echo then a space and then write anything I want to display for example Karanveer Chauhan and then press enter so as you have seen it has shown my name Karanveer Chauhan on the CMD window so after that it, it is displaying this text which is messing with my output so I don't want to see this line and this this much bulk on my console screen so what I need to do is I need to write echo and then off so it will switch off all this extra text and now I just need to clear the screen C L and S stands for clear screen press enter and boom the screen is cleared so if I again want to print my name on the console so I will write echo current with Johan and press enter so it will display my name so this is first one the second command is to just change the color uh, this is not that much important but you should know how to change the colors of the console so write color simply and you need to know the color code so it is hexadecimal code two digit code one stands for background color and one stands for foreground so I will write 0 and A which stands for 0 stands for black color and A stands for green color and it will change the color of the whole text to green so as you have seen so if you want to learn about more about these color codes write color and then question mark slash question mark it will open the help menu and it will tell you everything about the command if you are stuck in with any command and don't know what to do just write the name of the command and then this little thing and it will open everything about that command so these are the color codes that you can use with the color, color command and it will change the color of the console accordingly so let's clear things up and the third command we're gonna talk about is title command the title command is used to change this default title to anything you want to display for example I want to use title write title space then the title you want to display for example YouTube tutorial YouTube tutorial and I press enter and the window seems something beautiful than usual so the next command is net view net v i e w view usually this is the net command the, which has the sub command view so we're gonna only talk talk about net view the net view commands used for watching all the pcs or all the systems on the your network for example this PC is connected with my computer my laptop so if I will press enter it will show the name of my computer and this current computer so you can see by this command you can see how many computers are connected with your network and then if you want some un unnecessary or unwanted computer then you can remove it from the list or change your password hotspot password because I am connected with this PC through the hotspot so I have used this hotspot creator version 2.0 by KBC to connect my laptop with this laptop so the hotspot is started I can stop but I will not so the next command we're gonna talk about is the IP config the IP config is very important command so IP C O N F I G it will display everything about your computer and the more recently I have learned to use it for diagnosing the network errors for example if you are feel if you are uh, 
uh, I don't know the word but if you are facing some network errors so you can simply write ipconfig slash release and press enter so it will release the IP, your IP address of the computer and after that you just need to write renew and it will renew your IP address so this is the shortest and easiest method to fix some DNS problems with your network it works some uh, most of the time the next command is the ping command so let's clear things up ping ping command this command is very much important as it is used to see the connection of your computer with the internet so write ping and name of the any specific website for example do dot the bad team dot org and press enter so it will it is returning some results after four pings ping is called the interchanging of the information so as you have seen it has 0% loss and the every time for the reply is 209 milliseconds so this is normal so you can simply open the comp the website in your browser so just right click mark the bad team and press enter key to copy the text open your browser right click and paste and go so it will paste the command and go the next command we gonna talk about is dir so let me see which let me change the directory to desktop first this is another command cd the cd stands for changing the directory as from the current directory we are excuse me now I'm back and we were talking about the CD command the CD command stands for changing directory if I want to go into some folder from one folder or go back to the for go back to the previous folder so I just need the CD command if I want to go back just press CD and two dots and press enter I will go back to know in which directory I am right now just simply turn the echo on or you can also print it like echo write percentage then cd for current directory and percentage and press enter so it is this echo command is for displaying the text and percentage cd percentage is the a default variable which cmd has created to know in which directory it is on so it is slash in the users folder in the C in the C drive. So let me clear things up. C L S and to change the folders back to change the directory back to the initial users then NK press N tab enter and then change directory to desktop press enter. So after the C D if I want to make a folder the next command is to make a folder how to make a folder with for example now I want to create a folder named the bad team so first of all I need to check if there is a folder named bad team so write CD space the and press tab and it's displaying nothing so that means there is no folder starting from the word th so now write md and space then the bad team and press enter and now you will write cd space th and tab so it will auto complete for you so that means there is a folder named cd to see all the files as you we have completed the cd command and the md command md to make the directory we have created the folder named the bad team if we need to see all the folders in the current directory for example we are in the desktop and we want to see everything on the desktop so just simply enlarge the view and CLS turn the echo off for 
better understanding just write dir and press enter and as you can see it's a lot of mess in the desktop there are images there are folders the dir stands for folder there are folders there are images so it is all the information what i have on the desktop clear things up so dir stands for looking at what is in the folder so you want you can also see the better pictures for example dir slash b will only tell you what files are there without any extra information and dir slash w i think no not w cls i forgot it so dir for the help every time use slash question mark and for auto arranging arrangement into the groups i think there is there is a switch for auto arranging use wild list format and let it be we'll talk about dir command in a separate tutorial so clears things up the next command after cd md and dir is rd the rd stands for removing the directory for so if you want to delete some folder just write rd and then write the name tab and it will show you the corresponding folder and press enter as you have seen it has not asked for if you if i if you want to delete the folder and and now you cannot even recover the folder from the recycle bin the folder is lost and you can only recover it by some software of for the data recovery so be careful with this rd command the next command is to type the type is command to display the text of a text file on the console for example i have a file from the previous tutorial named aa.txt so i will write 1a and press tab so it will display me aa.txt i want to see the uh, the text inside this text file on the console so i will write type aa.txt and cmd will type it on the console for me i'll press enter and the data in the in the aa.txt file is this so it has typed everything on the console for me let's clear this up the next command is to copy command copy command as we have very much familiar with the copy and paste and move and paste things so write copy name of a file for example aa.txt again i want to copy it into a folder named resistor decoder so i will write i have to press the tab few times because i have many things starting to mark so this is the format the file you want to copy the path you want to copy it into and just press enter so it is saying one file copied if you want to see it has copied or not i will open window e desktop and then sister decoder i have seen this aa.txt file in the folder with the same content that we have seen on the console window so now if i want to if i simply want to move a file just write move and rest thing is the same so i don't think i have to launch this command again so move is same as the copy now the del delete command the delete i want to delete that file i have just copied so i don't want one file two times in my computer so i will write del then resistor decoder path and then press slash then it will go into the folder and press again press the tab so it it will include the aa.txt file one by one the next file i want this aa.txt file to delete so i will press enter and as you have seen like the rd command it has not asked for deleting the file and it has simply deleted just to confirm it go into the same folder again and there is no aa.txt file so you cannot even recover that file because it is not in the recycle bin it has completely lost you can only recover it by some data recovery software 
so the next and the final command we want to know is the first of all I want to clarify the difference between RD and the del command RD is to remove the directory to, to delete a folder while del command is to remove a file so keep this thing in mind the last command the 15th command we want to talk about is the attrib this is the most unknown not familiar command that users don't know like this is the first step for the hacking I can say if you want to be a hacker you must know this command the attrib command it's it's it edits the attributes of a file for example if we ha we have a aa.txt file in the current directory desktop so I will I want to hide that file I don't want anyone to see that file this is the aa.txt anyone can open it I don't want any anyone to have look have a look at this file this is my personal file so what I will write is attrib the space then simply remember r a s h rash and go back if you want to hide press plus space then plus then space then plus then space then plus so what it will write it will make the file read only plus means to add the attribute so it will add the attributes of read only archivable system file and the hidden file so which file I want to hide aa.txt press aa tab so it will write the name complete the name press enter so now if I want to see that file in my desktop so I cannot see aa.txt if I write aa two times I will not find it aa.txt there is no file named aa.txt but if I want to again use it I need to write attrib and then if you want to know how I have quickly write this file this this much lengthy command again please see the video on how to be a CMD expert so you will know from there there only I want to see the file again so just replace all the pluses with minus and press enter and go back into the same folder and you will see the aa.txt file again although if you have hidden that file let's clearing things up and again let me hide that file as it is not there again no downloads the desktop there is no aa.txt file again so if I want to again access the file I cannot access it with the GUI interface so but I still can access it with the CUI space the CUI is for command line just write type just again aa.txt and it will auto complete for you and press enter and you still can read that text so you can secretly hide your data and no one will know that you are using that file and you are modifying that file daily basis i hope you like this video thanks for watching if you want me to give comments on any other command or you want to learn any other command feel free to comment thanks for watching please subscribe and like the video bye bye